Mary Dyer, why do I find you in this colony? Were you not sent away as a Quaker who preached against our beliefs? I came to speak the word of truth to those who would hear. Do you think you're a prophet? God's truth is in the Bible. You've come to spread false teaching. I speak the words that the Lord speaks in me through his guiding inner light. We have shown mercy, Mary. Did we whip you and send you to prison as the law allows? Did we bore a hole through your tongue with a hot iron? No. Still you return. Now you must hang from a rope. If that is what happens, then I will die for my beliefs. Deny your beliefs, and I will spare your life. I will not. Mary, do not say that. Mr. Endicott, if we move back to Rhode Island, would you spare my wife's life? Yes, but she may not come back to the Massachusetts Bay Colony. We are hanging two Quakers today. Consider yourself blessed that I have spared your life. William and Mary moved back to Rhode Island to continue preaching. Mary decided to visit some fellow Quakers in Massachusetts who were to be hanged for their beliefs. My wife, I plead with you, do not go back to Massachusetts. They will hang you for sure. I must. They will kill you. It is God's plan for me to do this. Mary left for Massachusetts to visit her Quaker friends. Word spread that she was in the colony, and she was soon under arrest. Mary, you have been told to stay away from this colony. The time for mercy has ended. I sentence you to hang in Boston Common. When execution day arrived, Mary Dyer walked silently to where she was to be hanged, led by Captain John Everett. The gathered crowd watched nervously to see what would happen. Mrs. Dyer, as you stand before us, will you repent for preaching against the Puritan beliefs and for coming to this colony as a Quaker? No, sir, I will not repent. On June 1st, 1660, Mary Dyer died for the crime of spreading the Quaker faith in Massachusetts. A member of the court said, She did hang like a flag for others to take example by. <laughs>